And, and what about the issue of, of sort of getting slightly hotter water, things like showers, baths, all those kind of things? They're, they're looking at 60 degrees. Yeah. Well, uh, radiators... Probably even more. Yeah. Um, no, so under, under floor operates at about 35 degrees. Yeah, 35 to 40. Um, radiators, low temperature, uh, low temperature, high efficiency rads now operating at about 50, 52. Right. Uh, so again, if you're going to put in a heat pump and you can't put in underfloor heating for whatever reason, then you've got to be thinking about low flow, uh, low temperature, um, uh, high efficiency rads. To get hotter water, you have to store water at 65 degrees by law to, to uh, kill off legionnaires. But you don't need to produce it at that level. Just once a week you need to keep a thin film of it. Air, uh, air source and uh, ground source heat pumps don't do that well. There is a curve, a, an efficiency curve, which starts at the top with very low temperature and as the temperature goes up, so the efficiency falls. All heat pumps, all heat pump manufacturers follow the, basically the same curve. The higher the water temperature, the lower the efficiency. So the, 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 the advertising, the marketing, which I guess is what you're alluding to, that's true. You can have temperature, hot water, get a nice hot bath out of it at 65 degrees, but your efficiency will go down. And you can have high efficiency, but then the temperature of your water goes down. You can't have high efficiency and high temperature water at the same time. So do you think the most effective solution to that is to have an immersion heater attached to the system as well that just gets it up for that one, one day a week when it needs to be up at 65? The, the most efficient way of doing it is with a, with a thermal solar panel because um, that will maintain it at 65 and you don't have to use the, the heat pump to generate any uh, hot water. Uh, you can rely almost entirely then on your, on your uh, solar panel. And then you have a very efficient system which is costing you very little to run and which will meet all the comfort issues. So, I mean, that's really the ideal solution. If you can't do that, then yes, an immersion heater or an electric boiler running on low-rate electricity, overnight electricity, with a well-insulated tank is your second best. <coughs> or you could step out of that whole scenario and go for a different heat source. It might be that you go then for a small wood pellet boiler. 